Secondly, a long poetic work. Its characters include Polyphemus, Calypso and Circe. There's only a certain number of theme parks. Yeah, it's Chessington. I've not heard of it. Yeah. Nominate Lewis. Odyssey, Chessington World of Adventures. No, it is Odyssey, but it's at Fantasy Island near Skegness. <laughs> and finally, the single... Well, why is Skegness funny? About 90 kilometres in diameter and containing striking bright spots, the Okato crater was discovered in 2015 on which body of the solar system? Body, so it might not be a planet. Could it be... Series? Series? Yeah. Series? In 2015, yeah. I think they found about Series. Series? It couldn't be the sun, could it? Is that fun? Yeah, Wait, what's what's an impact crater on the song. No, no, that would, no. <laughs> series? Series? Series is right. Ten points for this. I need a single short word here. According to Shakespeare's Macbeth, what is saw labour's bath, balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course, chief nourisher in life's feast? Warwick Rout, death. No. What's some it... more? Alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. They may be connected. It's sleep. Ten point... Born in about 470 BC, which philosopher and consort of Pericles has a place at the table? She was frequently the object of satire in Athenian comedy. Oh, no, it was in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh... <laughs> I can't have been. I've not done it for ages. Uh... I really don't know. Pericles and... No, pass. It's Aspasia. Yeah. Usually breeding on sea cliffs, which bird has established an inland breeding site on part of the Baltic centre in Gateshead? Its name is imitative of its call. Puffin? <laughs> I don't know what the puffin's called is like. <laughs> uh, it's a kitty wake. <laughs> bonuses now are on cell biology, Darwin. First described in the 1950s and present in large numbers in all living cells, which molecular machines act as the site of polypeptide and protein synthesis? Yeah, ribosomes. Yeah, ribosomes. Yeah. ribosomes? Correct. What name is given to the very small organelle in the cytoplasm of cells that contains enzymes such as catalase and oxidizes alcohol and fatty acids? Is this like the, the lysosome? Uh, the lysosome? No, it's peroxisome. Widely found in animal tissues, which cytoplasmic cell organelle contains enzymes that can break down nucleic acids, proteins, and polysaccharides? Maybe this is the lysosome? Is this the lysosome? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the magazine editor, Tina Brown. Having edited Tatler in the UK, Brown moved to New York in 1983 at the age of 29 to relaunch which magazine? It shares its name with a novel that first appeared in 1847. Vanity Fair? Correct. In 1992, Brown took over the editorship of what publication? During her tenure, its contributors included John Updike and Harold Brodkey. Playboy. Playboy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. kill you. No, it's the New Yorker. In 2008, Brown launched which US digital news site? It states its name from a fictional newspaper in Evelyn Waugh's novel, Scoop. Um, Gorka. No, it's the Daily Beast, as in Scoop. You've never read it? I'm, I'm afraid not, no. <laughs> it's hilarious. Drag end of life in quietness and ease. Gaines or, or Reynolds, probably? Reynolds was... No, Reynolds was head of the Royal Academy. I so probably Gainsborough? Or Ramsey? Yeah, go for either one. Gainsborough did some months ago. Gainsborough? It is Thomas Gainsborough, yes. <laughs> Gainsborough's portrait of which actress, described as the greatest tragedian of her day, reportedly caused him to complain, confound the nose, there's no end to it. This has missed someone as the tragic muse, but can't remember what she's called. Mm. I, I don't know. This is. Mrs. Siddons as the tragic muse? I'll accept oh. that. <laughs> oh, Sarah Siddons. <laughs> the E E L T is likewise planned for the end of this decade. For what do those four letters stand? Extremely, something extremely large telescope. 
extra extreme. <laughs> Extra extremely large telescope. <laughs> That's the European extremely large telescope. Is Essie? No, that was from the Prelude by Wordsworth, published oh, posthumously in 1850. Uh, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Yeah. Liz Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Well, I'm sorry, it's so easy. <laughs> yes. Finally, which three elements have symbols which spell the name of the capital of Albania? What is the capital of Albania? <laughs> <laughs> Very good question. Um, Trieste. No. No. Okay, I can bet then. Uh, Shall I just pick some elements? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this could potentially make it well. Um, oh God. Um, oh no, it's, is it Tiana? Might be. That, I'll just go. As in T I J A N A. Are those yeah. any of those yeah. things elements? Let's have a go. Titanium. Let's just. Okay. Titanium. Arsenic. No, it's titanium, radium, and sodium. It gives yeah. you Tirana. Oh, it, oh, is that why that right? Yeah, it's got an hour, I can't remember why. Chumba Wumba. Huh? Chumba Wumba. Of course it's not. No, it's the farm. You're quite right. You're wrong in the answer you gave, but you were right to disbelieve Chumba Wumba. <laughs> Finally, the name of the For ten points, I want you to give me the three-letter word which completes this observation from J.P. Dunleavy's The Ginger Man. When you don't have any money, the problem is food. When you have money, it's... Manchester Stellard. Tax? Nope. <laughs> One of you, Buzz. Sussex, come on, how many three-letter words? Sussex MacDonald. Sex. Correct. <laughs> How sweetly baffled you look. <laughs> Pass. Pass. It's Plautus. The servant Mosca outwits and usurps his eponymous master in which comedy by Ben Jonson, a satire on greed and lust, first performed in 1606? It's Comedia dell'arte. I did it in GCSE and it's just gone from my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, um... Sorry, Mr Norton. <laughs> no, nothing. We don't know. It's Volpone. Uh, which servant I found a member of Pink Floyd, replaced by David Gilmour in 1968. His solo albums include The Mad Cat Laughs. Oh, my gosh. I have no clue. My fiancé's going to be shouting at the screen. Do you know any Pink Floyd members? Roger Waters? No. I he was the guy who was on LSD a lot of the time. Um, <laughs> if you have a name, guess it, but otherwise um, just pass. Roger Waters. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's Sid Barrett. Very familiar, I just... Um, can I just try something? So uh, Tristan and Isolde. It, that is absolutely right. Well done. Well done. Well done. Cheers. Tristan says, do you want to follow me into death? And she says, oh, yes, please. Points <laughs> yeah. for this. In 1946, the letter O vanished and the letters E-W were changed to a U in the name of what commercial product launched in 1901 by the Falkirk and Glasgow-based Barr family? And a Brickhansen. I'm Brew. And yeah. of course, yes. <laughs> so you retake the lead. They're on anthropologists, your bonuses. Born in Scotland in 1854, which anthropologist was a prominent scholar of mythology and comparative religion? His most notable work is The Golden Bow. <laughs> Nominate Fraser. So James Fraser. <laughs> That's correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly a translation of a 2007 book. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh, is it? That's probably, yeah. Uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Indeed it is, yes. <laughs> and finally... This... Grandma, Grandmaster and the Furious... Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Yeah. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Which protein complexes are required for the condensation of chromosomes to make them more compact? Do we know? I didn't understand any of those so words. say something? Rubisco. Say Rubisco. Those condensins. Finally, so, the interrogation, the giants and Ritornello of hunger works by the 2008 winner. The one you mentioned on the train. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 no, that was she's German. Oh, yeah, she? of no, course, no, no, it's no, a German. Um, oh, Muller, Herta Muller. No, that's 2009. Let's go for another German name. Um, no, no, no. Why are we talking about 
because they... German. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. No, what, what's that? Then? It's entertaining you trying to, oh. seeing you trying Schmidt. to recall what you said on the tr train, but it's not getting us anywhere. <laughs> it's the Clezio. Oh. Right, ten points Correct. for this name. Secondly. What would that be named after? Maureen. No, no. Roland Garros. Uh, <laughs> good <laughs> heavens, he's had a gender change. <laughs> Suzanne Longblanc. Long. for this. Notable for the feud between Edward Drinker Cope and Othniel Charles Marsh, what name is given to the period of intense fossil speculation in the late 19th century in North America that occurred in the badlands of Colorado, Nebraska and Wyoming? Its major discoveries include the Stegosaurus. Martin Peplow. The Dinosaur War. Nope. Uh, Newcastle Reynard. The Big Bone Bash. <laughs> it's the Bone Wars. <laughs> Hawaii. No, it's Alaska. Ah. Secondly, an eruption of... <laughs> Sorry. Take it easy. 1930. Correct. <laughs> a lot of football. Of, of whose alone it is, it is also to heaven. You're just thinking aloud. Yes. <laughs> but not very cogently. No. Whoever owns land, it is theirs up to the heavens. Oh. And finally... <laughs> Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. <laughs> Correct. I don't know. Do we know any German scientists, Oscar? Yeah, we do, but let me... No, 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 just let me think. Just let me, um, um, OK, this is... Uh, just to make one up. Um, uh, it's not Einstein. Who, who isn't Einstein? Planck. Max know. Planck. It is Max Planck. Let's see it. There it is. <laughs> and finally... OK, so that's in oh, Latin. Um... Th no, or is it Italian? It's Italian. <laughs> is that Galileo? Or... The Starry Messenger? Oh, yeah. Go for, go for it. Galileo. It is Galileo. <laughs> Do you know any German scientists, Oscar, honestly? <laughs> for this. Answer with an improper fraction as soon as your name is called. What is the value of the definite integral with respect to x between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 2 of the function y equals x squared? Court old France. Three? No. Jesus Clark. Half? One half? No, it's seven over three. Ah. Ten points for this. Sorry. <laughs> over, you're going to have another go. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Let's crack on with it. Points for this. Written by Rivest, Shamir and Edelman, the 1978 paper, A Method for Obtaining Digital Signatures and Public Key Crypto Systems, Introduce which two fictional characters who attempt to communicate securely over a network? Jesus Clark. Alan and Steve. No, it's not <laughs> Alan and Steve. <laughs> Courtauld, anyone want to buzz? <laughs> Courtauld Hay. Bill and Ben. <laughs> no, it's Alice and Bob. Ten points for this. Sorry, pass. That's the ladies not for burning. Secondly, referring to the son of the French captain Louis de Casabianca, which seven-word phrase forms the first line of a poem by Felicia Hemans, inspired by an incident that occurred in the Battle of the Nile in 1798? Nelson has lost his left arm. No. <laughs> <laughs> the boy stood on the burning deck. Ten points for that. Coming up on the halfway mark now, so time for a music round. For your music starter, you're going to hear part of an original film score. For ten points, I want the title of the film for which it was composed. <laughs> One of the Darling most Jackson. Films the Godfather? No! <laughs> Lady Margaret Hall, the Closet. Ratatouille. 
Ratatouille? <laughs> no, meretricious offerings. It's the third man. Right, ten points.